An enemy you have to battle if you want to take your art seriously is laziness. If you keep postponing creating art, then you won't get very far. Part of becoming an artist is being consistent, constantly learning and creating, which we can't really get done if we are lazy. After asking you guys on my YouTube community if you suffer from laziness and need help on that, without surprise, the majority of you guys are lazy bobs. As a former lazy bob myself, I'm gonna give you some golden tips and advice on how to overcome your habit of laziness. While I go over the subject, I'll sculpt a stylized 3D version of Rem from ReZero in the background. So, the tips I'll give you are based on my own personal experience on how I overcame my laziness in general and also some research I did on the subject. A lot of the advice and tips I'll give you will revolve around helping you create certain habits to eventually overcome the habit of laziness. The cool thing about habits is that eventually, when you get used to them, they will become effortless and second nature. This means that even though you will have to battle laziness at first, by following the tips I'll give you consistently for a few weeks, it will become a lot easier and eventually you'll become more productive without much effort. First thing I want you to do is set clear goals on what you want to replace your laziness time with. I'm not talking about vague goals like I want to be a great artist or I want to work for my dream studio. I'm talking about more precise specific goals that can be achieved in a day, a week and a month. For example, your big goal might to become a masterful artist, but smaller specific ones would be to learn the anatomy of the arm this week and draw for two hours a day. This is part of something called the goal setting theory which was put forward by Edwin Locke in the 1960s. I don't want to get too much into the specifics of this theory in this video, but basically research has shown that by having challenging yet realistic and doable goals, you are more likely to be motivated to do something. To overcome laziness, you need to kickstart your engine with some motivation and a clear purpose. So sit down, grab a paper and a pencil and write down what you plan to achieve every day for the next week. For starters, make it a bit challenging, but not too much. You can adjust the difficulty as you move on. Now that you have your goals set for every day, the next week and month, it is time to replace your laziness with new habits. This is the tricky part, especially if you're a master of laziness like I was in the past. If possible, start your day by doing what you planned for your goals. This is the time of the day when you will probably be the most focused, which will make it a lot easier to create a habit. Of course, this will also depend on your schedule, so if it is not possible, that's okay. You can still create habits later in the day. It will just be a bit trickier since fatigue creeps up on us as the day passes by. The trick here is to consistently do whatever you plan to do every day at the same time, preferably when you are the most energized. The more accurate and consistent you are with your timing, the stronger the habit will be. This also means that having a regular sleeping schedule will make your life that much more easier. Hopefully this is something you already have going for you. So let's say you want to draw one hour every day. In that example, it will be best to choose a time in the day you know you will have free every day for the whole week. Moving on, here's a trick that worked wonders for me, setting a timer. I set a timer to run off whenever I have to do certain things throughout the day. This installs the idea that these habits that you want to create will now be part of your day. It helps you stick to the same schedule and it will also help remind you to do them if by any chance you forget. My other golden advice is to set a timer for when you have to stop doing a specific task. I can't stress how effective this is. For example, if you plan to draw for one hour a day, the issue at first is that you will have a hard time doing it for an hour every time, as you will constantly look at the time wondering when that hour will finish up. By setting a timer to ring after an hour after you start, you will focus on your drawing and forget about the time, as you know that the timer will take care of that for you. You just have to respect the fact that unless that timer rings, you should continue working without getting distracted. Tricks like this are vital at first, because your already established habit of laziness will try to find any weakness to exploit. So think of these tips and tricks as your defenses against laziness taking over. Another important tip is to avoid your phone, messages, emails and whatever you can till you get your work done. One message, video or anything that can potentially distract you for the rest of the day is a horrible trap that I constantly fell for and I'm sure you can relate. Unless it is for urgent reasons, keep your phone in airplane mode if you have to, you can check it later in the day as a prize for getting the work done. As you apply all of these tips, there are a few things you should know right from the start that can further help you create these habits and also avoid messing them up in the future. First of all, it is important to understand that habits take time to set in and your body will fight them as much as possible at first, which will make them seem impossible to sustain. 
The advice I gave you will make the process easier, but you will still need some willpower and you will have to force yourself at first. It is also very important to be aware that once you do these new habits constantly for a short while, it is pretty amazing how natural and effortless they become. You won't need willpower or any forcing at that point, which is where you want to get yourself to get rid of your laziness. Knowing this from the start will help relieve you from any doubt on whether sustaining your new habits is achievable when you struggle at first. This next part will depend on every individual, but in my case, it usually takes up to three weeks to set in a new habit. That said, it already gets easier after one week of doing something on a daily basis. Even though it takes me up to three weeks to set in a habit, I personally like to give it two months of being cautious not to mess up the new habits I'm making to make sure that they really stick in my routine. In addition to all of that, the second thing I want you to be aware of is that I already have a lot of experience on creating habits and sticking to them. I also have experience with breaking these habits, which makes it a lot easier for me to both create them and avoid breaking them right from the start. This is why I want to warn you, unless you are very disciplined to start with and have a decent experience with consciously creating and sticking to habits, making new habits you are creating in the first two to four weeks might require some trial and error. You might not get it right from the first time, but that's okay. What's important is that you pay attention to why you end up breaking your habits every time and get rid of these reasons. Let me give you an example. Personally, I like to watch an episode of whatever show I'm following while I'm taking a break to eat. Now, in my case, I realized that one short episode can easily end up being two episodes, three, and sometimes even more, which ends up taking over my whole day. Other people might be able to control themselves and stop watching their shows after eating and get right back to work, but in my current state, it is a distraction that can lead to procrastination and laziness moving me away from my daily goals that I set for myself. Now, in this case, I'd stop watching any show during my lunch break altogether and keep it for after I finished my daily goals as a reward for my hard work. Each person will have different things that distract them and leads them back to the land of laziness. Now, I can't really tell you what exactly that is for you, so you need to pay attention to these things and adapt to them. If you follow through to this point of the video, well done. I'll give you one last important piece of advice. As you follow these tips and create new habits to overcome your laziness, and it becomes effortless to sustain these habits, you'll be able to relax as it becomes second nature. However, don't ever think that it is impossible to break the new habits you made no matter how long you sustain them for. <sighs> I've had very strong habits instilled in me for over two years and still managed to break them like an idiot. To be fair, if you haven't been through this, it will take you by surprise. So I will give you the gist of how it happens and why it does so that hopefully you can avoid that or at least keep the damage to a minimum. There's always something in life that will come up and cause you to break your habits. And especially since you have been doing something for a long time, you might think that, hey, what will one day of skipping it at this point do? True, one day after years of sustaining a habit won't do much harm at first. But one day can easily become two, three, and before you know it, you've skipped a whole week or even months. Worst case scenario, you end up completely quitting your habit altogether. Now, what's happening here is that you'll be creating the habit of breaking your habit till you end up stopping it altogether. If for whatever reason you really, really have to break your habit, be very mindful of being overly cautious on getting back to your habit the next day and weeks to come to make sure that your brain understands that breaking your habit that one day was only a necessary exception and shouldn't be repeated. Let me know in the comment section below which of the tips and advice I gave are your favorites. Also share some of the tricks you personally do to avoid laziness that I haven't covered in this video. Hopefully this video will help you beat the lazy bob in you and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a like, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more fun and educational videos. I'll leave you guys with some renders of Rem from ReZero and for now I'll see you guys in the next one.
Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.